I am very happy to welcome uh, uh, Chandrika Subramanian. Your services in the legal field, the Tamil field, social service, women development, all wonderful. Welcome. Thank you very much, everyone. Good evening to everybody. Thanks to Madras Development Society inviting me to attend the eighth Global Economic Summit, World Tamils Economic Conference, Chennai, 2021. I talk. I thank personally Dr. Sampath. And I also welcome and salute to honorable judges, learned colleagues, dignitaries, members of the legal and economic professional. Law and economic development. Economic development is the demand of the constitution to achieve the economic goal of any country aiming to improve social welfare for every citizen of that country. Ideally, the development is sponsored by national financial sources of the country. However, the country may face limitations in fulfilling the Himalayan task, which extends invitation to investors, both domestic and foreign, to be part of national economic development. In order to regulate such investments, it is inevitable to improve the competence of the country itself. A country's legal policy should direct the law development authority to support the realization of continuous economic growth to regulate issues regarding economy, especially business and industry, and also to create certainty in investment. In particular, law enforcement and protection uh, laws development needs implementation with constant renewal of law. This will be completed in the light of balancing the plurality of legal system and the influence of globalization. By doing so, the efforts to increase the legal certainty and protection of human rights will be given priority. This will also address the new challenges created by the constant changes in the legal and the economic environment. The role of law, which is very important in economic life, is regarding the ability to influence the certainty level between human society. The global economists believe that modern economy sees the expectations of individuals are the determinants of economic actions. And because of that, they are crucial in deciding the equilibrium of economy and the stability of the achieved equilibrium. The corporates, businessmen, the sponsors, the property owners, the working community and the consumers conducting the predicted activity will provide the maximum result. In the vibe of modern complex world, some of the results are certain and predictable. Nihat, a scholar in 1964, have identified and enlisted six concepts in law that have influence in economic development. Predictability, procedural ability, codification of, of the goal of legislation that can be seen as one of the codification goals and intention of the country, the balancing factor and the accommodation. This also enhances our knowledge of how to understand that there are two types of quality of law, which must be fulfilled for economic system to be functioning in a very smooth way. One is stability and the other is predictability. But between those two qualities, we cannot ignore that the justice factor, such as keeping similar treatment with government's behavior pattern standard, which is necessary to keep the market mechanisms and prevent a too much bureaucracy. We have to admit that the main weakness in law faced by the businessman in the legal is the, the, is the legal uncertainty. Legal certainty is indeed ne necessary to calculate and anticipate the risk of for a country. Legal certainty is even one of the most important factor in supporting the endurance of economy in a country. In order to make laws being accommodative to the demands of the economic demands, the government is responsible to make the law with sufficient dignity in responding to any such demand necessary for economic development. Beside this, the legal certainty, legal institution must be able to handle the increasing need of efficiency play, to play its crucial part and role in adjusting the ideas and conditions which constantly develops. With this little note, let me conclude my little thoughts and notes on this topic. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sampath and his association for giving me an opportunity for me to present this. Thank you. <laughs>